Chakra Nova is the place to be. Chakra Nova is a book by me. Chakra Nova is not for free. Chakra Nova, Chakra Nova. I'll start the video off with a little bit of pizzazz. Um, but no. For real, for real. I haven't been really live or doing videos because I've been really struggling with the fact that Steve Harvey said that women and men can't be friends. I've been really struggling with that fact. And I said, hold on, Steve. I can't even go live no more. I can't even talk on my social media platforms or do nothing in relation to what this dude is talking about. He done shut the whole game down, family. And we told you that we that he was going to do it. When we, when we talked about him in Shocker Nova, him, Derek Jackson, and Kevin Samuels, um, we resurrected that boy. But um, I'm just popping stuff while Instagram fills up my I'm live. I'm not going to be talking about Steve Harvey at all. I'm just joking around with a little light banner, little refreshments, jokes. I'm going to open an act and the headliner of today's show. Y'all like, he is so egotistical. I don't like him. Um, man, I've been meeting some very, very... This this video is dedicated to my man, Eli. We was in Toledo yesterday. And I asked my wife, I was like, what time is this over, the function over? It wasn't like I was bored. But sometimes I like to kind of like zone out. Like, I, I like to like time travel, right? I really do like to time travel. I like to go from one place to another place. So it was about 3.45 and she said it was over at 6. I'm like, somebody about to come in here and I'm going to talk to him from the time he get in here to the time that this thing is over with. And lo and behold, that whole situation occurred. My homie Eli came in. And I don't know if Eli was a real person, right? Eli, you could be a, a, a figment of my imagination. I don't even think my wife saw the nigga. For real, for real. He was that spiritual. The nigga just kind of walked. Nigga vaporized into the... <laughs> Am I lying? <laughs> I ain't lying. I'm not lying. He was very powerful, man. Very, very powerful. Very beautiful. Just, uh... Just... Just... I don't know. He's just an amazing young man, you know, and uh, we talked for about an hour and a half just chopping it. And I've been thinking about it a lot. And it's like the power of the spiritual man versus the physical man and how the spiritual man attempts to be the physical man and the physical man just gets all the pussy. But no matter what the spiritual man does, he'll never be the physical man. And the physical man don't even try to be the spiritual man because there's no win in that. You mean to tell me give up all this money, give up all of this sex and give up all of this easy living and people treating me like a god? So in that space, what is the spiritual man left with? Well, the spiritual man has something very specific to the relationship the spiritual man has psychic functions and supportive energy but also the spiritual man needs to be treated very special but the problem is the way that society slants it y'all treat the spiritual nigga like the physical person you expect them to be and live up to the physical standards that you would still. But what you won't do is demand spiritual excellence out of the physical man. Because 
If you are a spiritual woman, this is the kicker right here. You need a spiritual man. But what does the spiritual woman get? The spiritual woman gets the physical man. He pays the bills. He Five times out of ten, he gives you good loving. And that's pretty much it, you know? Or he's giving you good loving and he ain't paying the bills, you know? It's just physical, it's just physical, normal, human, just a normal, mundane ass dude, right? Like, if you are a spiritual woman and you're dealing with a dude who is not a spiritual, has who has no understanding of vessels and energy and elements and these things, he's not going to support you into the transformation of your goddessness. You have to follow his lead. Think about how crazy that is. Think about how crazy it is that you have to follow a mundane ass nigga's lead. And you talking about Oshun and rituals and Yiminya and 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 and, and spirit baths and things of that nature but you don't know how to receive a spiritual man because you will you what you will do is look at all men the same you will look at all men the same and then y'all will be lining up outside of my bedroom like it's the jays is being released to get some astral dick see this is the difference between a spiritual man and a physical man a spiritual man exists in the night a spiritual man exists in the night a physical man exists during the day the most important time in your life is when you sleep to which when you have a man that protects you in the night he is there for you now when you with a spiritual man and you a spiritual woman you got to understand all of this shit that's happening because now you're a spiritual woman and you have relationships with other men. And whether you like it or not, those men have implanted with you and you're a spiritual woman. You can have sex with those men whenever you want because sex happens in the mind. That's why it's easy for you to be single. After, not before, let's be clear. After you've already had relationships with the man, you can be comfortable with being single because you have his energy to where you can fuck him whenever you want because where does sex happen? In the mind. Not not this exchange thing that y'all have. It's happening in the mind. So that's your husband. You don't have the certificate. You didn't walk down the aisle, but you consummated the relationship without the ceremony. So that's your husband. You're polygamous. Now, you're not giving your you're not giving the man this energy to not even the truth. No, honey, I don't want to give you no actual pussy tonight cuz I'm saving it for the astral. Right? I want to have sex on the astral with my ex. I don't want to have sex with you today. See, the physical man, you he it don't matter to him. You can get all of this shit off. No, honey, not tonight. I'm sick. I'm on my period. My stomach hurt, right? The spiritual man, ah, 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 ah. No, 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 no. What you mean? Not tonight. <laughs> not to say that he wants to have sex, but no, you're cheating on me. Because what, what the spiritual man sees, because when he goes to sleep at night, he doesn't, his consciousness doesn't go to sleep. His consciousness comes online, so now he sees your astral activity and then you guys wake up and now you're in bad moods this is why in the conversations in my house i have to tell like i've learned and grown to have the conversations not two weeks later but the day of this what happened on the astral last night me and these three girls was having sex on the astral last night This is the reality to which if I say, okay, 
I had a wonderful dream. I was dreaming about kittens, and 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 the kitten did a backflip off a off off a building, and then it went into a 3D void, and you know it turned into a rabbit. And I'm lying and shit, right? But no, the reality. So, boom, you in a relationship with a man, and you don't have to tell him that you're attracted to other men, nor that you have a soul tie or you've been imprinted, and you just can't get with your imprint. What's the reality of relationships? You're not with the person that you want to be with. And if you can't admit to that, because the person that you want to be with was the first person that you made love to. Okay, people then go say, well, not me, not me. You love being the exception to the rules and that is perfectly fine, but Imagine that I don't even know that you exist and I'm speaking general to a general audience. And if it's not you, maybe it's your cousin, maybe it's your sister, maybe it's your mom, maybe it's your dad. The person that you absolutely want to be with does not want you. This is shadow. But the spiritual man, because the spiritual man is the healer. He is the person that's going to look at you, not in this lifetime. The spiritual man will not look at you based upon your body type, what you look like, how you feel about yourself. You're nothing, nothing. The spiritual man sees your fucking soul. And you might see a man with a woman and you like, I don't know what he sees in her. He sees her soul that a shallow motherfucker like you, you would never fucking imagine the type of love that you're missing out on because you're physical. But we don't live in just a purely physical world. We live in a physical world times a spiritual world. To which, if you don't understand the spirituality in a matter of factness, this is a this is a tragedy to, to niggas and niggas worldwide. When you reference spirituality in all of its motifs, People give you mumbo jumbo generalizations. They don't give you real shit. They don't help you in the realms of spirituality. You know why? Because they don't know. They don't know. They make, they do rituals with these deities. They know all about these deities. Why? Because they channel these fucking deities. I don't channel deities. A deity can lick my ass. I channel my soul, right? So from the, from the psychology, I'm only reflecting that for which my soul tells me directly. It's a lot of different things that's happening, but the most important thing that's happening, the family, y'all cannot imagine that spirituality is hocus pocus, mumbo jumbo, the nigga with the most cowrie shells, the person with the most clout. You know what spirituality is? spirituality is pulling up to a pop-up shop where nobody fucking knows me and I and don't don't babe don't tell them that I do readings don't tell them shit about me I'm just gonna stand here and be a fucking fly on the wall and this is where this is this is how we are we don't need to the internet shit is for what it's for whatever my spirit says is for I'm fucking with it and that's cool. But at the end of the day, I can pull up. Niggas know me for, for pulling up. And not and not saying, oh, um, do you know me from YouTube? Make sure you know me for YouTube before I start reading these cards. I'm the mystic. You got to know me first. No, I'm just a guy. Because you might not ever see me again. And I might give you vital information and I might peer into yourself, I might tell you shit that you don't want to tell nobody. I'm just a guy, right? So I'm saying all of this to say, I'm a spiritual guy. And and, and the, the problem of it is that it took going to Spirit Doula's Myra's class for me to open my open up that like open my fucking eyes right 
I need that. I need guidance. I need I need wisdom. I need somebody to I need an elder to speak, right? And me to listen to an elder speak and me to take notes cuz a lot of times people put pressure on me. They like, "Hey, I need you to be the elder." And I'm like, "Shit, I need an elder sometimes, right?" I got that, right? And it was it was it was important. It was vital. It was crucial. Cuz she said the spiritual man sees the physical woman and turns her into the spiritual woman which then brings about the physical man and I said that's my fucking path I didn't even fucking know it I didn't even fucking realize it I really I I, I have a real defin- deficiency and an insecurity because family I've never been able to be a physical man I've always been a spiritual man and it always confused me. I don't don't congratulate me. Don't don't shake my hand. Don't don't tell me that this reading was great because I'm trying to push the chromed out bins on 20 inch rims. Nigga, I want I want a fat stack of money. I want a bitch with a fat ass to twerk for me. I don't want to be hotep. I'm trying to come from spiritual to physical. So what I'm saying is, if I'm realizing it, and the message is out there, this is a message to spread. This is a message to get people to really focus in and and tap into. If you are a spiritual man, oh baby, you gotta you gotta claim that shit and step in that shit and understand that there is nobody under you. Or higher than you. Everything is underneath. So you have to peer in to a person's soul and 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 understand that you are a supporter. You are here to guide. You are here to aid. And I wouldn't give a fuck if I had zero subscribers. I love a woman in real time, and we are going through this transformation in real time with our families, with our children. Fuck a YouTube subscriber. My spirituality is in 110% is me and this lady sitting in the passenger side of this vehicle. In the fucking story. So when you listening to spirituality and they're telling you everything, right? everything under the sun besides except the intricacies and this ain't even about a boo thing this is what I'm learning just how to relate to my wife and and women in general because I didn't even realize that I, I had this authority within my being of repping and holding down the spiritual fort I thought that I was the lowest of the totem pole. Turns out I'm the top of the totem pole. But spirit been trying to tell me this shit for the longest in my messaging, in my channels, in my download. But I'm imagining that I'm the exception to the rule. I'm thinking that all of y'all is up here and I'm down here. And... I know that other people have done the things that I've done, but y'all don't understand what I've came through, what I go through on the daily. I have real children that have real experiences that y'all would y'all would fucking break down if y'all would even just how my children have to carry certain things and the questions that they give me. I have to sit and carry with it and sit with it. Long story short. Being a spiritual man is about dealing with death and dealing with relationships and dealing with transformation. I said death. I said relationships. I said transformation. What else am I saying? Y'all not ready for that shit because y'all on Tinder and y'all like, fuck my baby daddy. Fuck my baby mama. I can't deal with her. But it was not this energy when you had sex with her. And then let me tell you what. 
no matter what you're saying, no matter what you're feeling, you already done to do. So don't hit me that you're monogamous when you're looking for a new relationship because that's already your husband. That's already your wife. You break the vows and you go somewhere else, that's your own karma, fam. You looking for a new relationship when you already got loose ends already on the other side. And then we have a big powwow and big forums and collegiate, you know, powwows on what's wrong with black people? They have no fucking sexual etiquette. They don't care about their relationships and the children that come from the relationships because there's a lot of black children that don't nobody give a fuck about. That if if it was sexual etiquette in reference to what's happening, somebody, them children would have never been born or they would have never been born. Because the amount of energy spent on raising young men and another fact parents are going to fuck up every parent fucks up so add that in there every parent fucks up your parent fucked up my parent fucked up their parents fucked up we're all fucked up right you got to be wise to understand that if you're not if you're if you're trying to get to a level it's like standing on the mountain of shit congratulations but when it gets to the to the crux of what needs to take place it needs to happen in your home with your family with your children you know where it's not happening in your homes with your family and with your children and you know what's going to satisfy you clout success fame money you know what happens to the world it continues to spiral out of control because everybody what we were taught is that your success happened outside of the home and then inside of the home that shit was all for and this shit was fucking no holds bar royal rumble Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. Your, your parents could be fucking crackheads. But if you got straight A's, fucking clap it up. You know, if that motherfucker was employee of the week, motherfuckers had trophies all in the fucking walls. But let that motherfucker be on crack. Don't nobody know about that. Motherfucker on alcohol. Don't nobody know about that. Motherfucker hitting you. Don't nobody know about that. All we know is great person. How are we going to heal? How are we going to heal if we can't even heal our homes? We can't even heal our relationships. I don't give a fuck what you say about me. You can dislike me, but I hold it down for my children every day. I don't give a fuck. F fuck me, you know? Just talk all the shit about me. Don't like me. My kids don't even like me all the time. I don't give a fuck that they don't like me all the time. What I know is that is my responsibility when my wife met me i was holding it down for my children from then to now i've been doing the same shit every single day consistently yes i'm aloof yes i can get a little spacey at times i work a lot of hard and shit like that fuck all of that though when it gets down to the get down i'm here I'm available for my children. You know what my daddy wasn't for me? Available. I don't know where that nigga was. So shit. At the end of the day, fuck it, you know? Because that's the hardest shit in the world. Apparently. Apparently, that's the hardest shit in the world to stay in union with your wife and raise your children. Right? Right? Because everybody want to talk about everything else in this shit. But the thing about a spiritual man, he won't let you. Right? He's not going to let you. He's not going to let you run. He's not going to, he's going to, he's not going to let you sit in your fears. 
No, babe. I get it. We weren't prepared for this. We didn't know. We weren't expecting children to look towards us for everything. We thought maybe babysitters would come out of our ass and, you know, we'll have this community of all of these people saying, ho tap and you want some corn and oh, I got some tomato soup brewing, you know, we thought we was going to get that energy. We not, we don't have that energy. So fuck it. This is what we have to do. Get rid of all of our fantasies, get rid of all of our illusions, put our family first. Right? And let the motherfucking chips fall where they may. If y'all say hood, your videos on YouTube shitty, I don't like you no more, I ain't making no more money, I got a job at fucking Amazon delivering packages, so be it. I'm showing up for my family every day, and that's how I started this shit, that's how I'm gonna end this shit. But that's a, that's a man that knows that he's spiritual, or is learning that he's spiritual, and I'm saying all of this to say... This is a conversation. You got to look that nigga in his eyes tonight. What the fuck? You a physical nigga. You just mundane as hell. You don't even got no spirituality, right? Because for the guys, it don't even matter. A spiritual dude, we supposed to catch you. I'm supposed to see you in in your physicalness. I'm supposed to lift you up out of your mundanity. I'm supposed to do that. Women, on the other hand, you have to sit and just kind of be regular and just hold that resonance, right? Be the best physical energy that you can be. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And trust me, I'm just kind of freestyling. Don't take nothing that I'm saying as Bible, as stone, because generally... Y'all got it all figured out anyway. (laughs) You know me, I'm just kind of bicking back being bull. You know, I I like to do these videos when my wife is in the store shopping or we on a long ride from one place to another because generally these children are a full-time job and I don't understand how people work full-time jobs and take care of children. That shit is crazy to me. But then again, I can kind of see like having that space like eight hours away from the children would kind of be dope, right? If I'm really being honest, like to be like, oh, I'm completely free from children. But then I think about the mind programming and the how impressionable my children are and what it's really for. Like is education the best the best thing for us as human beings, like education, the educational system, is it the best thing for a child, right? For me, it was a place where I was given hallucinogenic drugs at a young age. I was given Ritalin. I was told to take Ritalin Two times a day, seven days a week. Even when I wasn't in school, I had to take Ritalin twice a day. And I probably did that from like fourth grade. Well, no, probably like from second grade to fourth grade. Right? Because fourth grade, I went to Massachusetts to live with my dad and I stopped taking it. Okay. I finished fourth grade and then fifth grade, I went to, no, 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 no. Because cause what I'm trying to get to is that I was taking it for much longer than two years. I think I was taking Ritalin for four years because I don't even know what happened in them four years. It would be people from Akron like that I grew up with. I don't even know y'all names because I was a, a, a zombie. But I was a child. <laughs> I was a child on drugs that rappers talk about today they get high off of. Ritalin. Or Adderall, same thing, right? Rappers talk about Adderall. This is how your favorite rap song was written, by taking fucking Adderall. I was taking that shit twice a day. 
basically to zombify. I don't know why. I mean, I guess I was like my children, very hyperactive, very disorientating and very spiritual, you know? So I know that my children are spiritual. So generally when they get into the school system, the first thing that they're going to say is, here goes this drug cocktail of which they should be taken. You know, I tried it and it started to creep up into that area. And so I pulled them back. But I'm saying all of this to say. Being spiritual, you have to make different alternative. All the way like weird choice, like you have to make choices that are so different that if you are mundane as fuck. You're going to do nothing but clash within your relationship. And generally, let's talk about that. You're supposed to clash in your relationship. The clashing doesn't mean break up. Even if y'all clash every day, that means that that relationship means that's something that y'all really need to solve within that in that space. And don't tell me after the done it after the deed is done. Y'all been sexing and flexing for months. And now all of a sudden he's toxic or she's toxic. Well, when you have sex that in that 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 brings about toxic energy because there needs to be alchemy done. So you go from seventh house, which is the house of marriage to the eighth house, which is ruled by Scorpio transformation or alchemy. Togetherness, darkness. This is what y'all not understanding. And even to the fact. Of already married now this society with this music and these generational teens and things of that nature and my young dudes getting into a relationship I was trust me this is how it is when she goes to sleep she can have sex with anybody she wants to have sex with she's there in that realm of sexual energy when you have sex in the physical You're getting an aspect of feminine energy, a very small aspect of the totality of it being experienced when we sleep. Now, what you will hear is like the general term for this energy is succubus. And then what y'all really don't understand is incubi. Now, succubus from a person from the outside looking in that's it's supposed to be demonized it's supposed to be ostracized and took it outside of your frame of reference because once it's incorporated in your frame of reference once you understand succubi and incubi within the black community then you will understand this shit is crazy if if you can understand it that it's a concept that exists within the concepts of life would you think that it just skipped over the fucking black community? Oh, there's no such thing as black incubi and black succubi. Tell me, make it make sense. But within your relationships, are y'all going to talk about the succubuses that's fucking your husband or the incubi that's fucking your wife? Y'all not going to talk about it. Y'all going to act like this shit don't exist. You're the exception to the rule. <laughs> no, you're not. A lot of the women that approach me are succubuses. Takes one to know one, ladies. Be careful. I've been in and out and in around. And the difference between me is that I'm not going to hocus pocus you when it comes to this spiritual shit. I'm going to give it to you like it is. You can argue with me. No, you're not going to argue with me. You're just going to dislike me. 
You're gonna, you're gonna not like me. Like you're fucking two. I don't like you anymore, hood mystic. You're saying things that I don't agree with. Incubi and succubi don't exist in the black community. That's only in the gothic community. Oh, you gotta be gothic with black hair and black lipstick to be a succubus. No, it's Shirley from around the corner. The reason why Shirley don't need no man, cause she fucking your man in the astral. And she draining him of his energy. She don't need no man in real life. She'll let your dumb ass have him in real life and she'll fuck him. Oh, he don't keep it up. No, he can keep it up in the astral very strong, very long. Cause it's all imagination and illusion. But we not having the conversation of totality. We're not having the holistic conversation. We're having the subjugated conversation based upon the reality that y'all want. Okay, let's talk about how the shit is. You can Google it. Now, when you Google it, apply it to the black community. Because when you Google it, it's going to be something ostracized and something separate as if Shaniqua couldn't be a damn succubi. Kwame can't be a damn incubi. But you got all of these single people seemingly satisfied. Now, I reference the spiritual people who are in these situations scratching their fucking head. Now, hopefully, it's starting to make sense why they don't want to have sex with you. They don't want to have sex with you because they already having sex with other people. Crazy. Everything is mental. It's all happening in the mind. Nothing physical. The physical is a glass reverberation. It's a it's a result. So the ethics is in honesty. Because what transpires mentally should be discussed within your relationships. So for it to not create shadow, I might say something to my wife that may disturb disturb her. And she may decide, hey, guy, you're very disturbing. I'm thinking it's time that we separate. That's the way that it should be. Now, if I don't say nothing because I don't want her to leave me because I don't want to give her my honesty, then that's creating karma. That's going to snap my rubber band. And I'm not trying to have my rubber band snap. This is something that I've learned. So my reflection is that of being in a holistic, wholesome relationship with the scorpionic being, right? Somebody that is there to be my vessel, to be my container, to be my everything. Regardless of what's happened on the astral, regardless of that shit, because all of this is a result of me being with her. That's what y'all don't know. The spiritual man needs a physical woman to give it something to actually do in real time. What confuses you is that you think that it's about a YouTube channel or you think that it's about clout or subscribers or money or good looks. No. Can you say within your relationship with your opposite that you are working to heal that person in real time and you're trying to build that relationship up this is where my effort and energy goes to by being a spiritual man i get on youtube and do this shit easy i do this shit for this is my porn this is about entertainment i don't watch tv i don't watch sports spirituality and these types of conversations are what genuinely interest me so I produce content in reference to these things however my spirituality is found specifically holistically without a shadow of a doubt in real life in real terms within my relationship can your spiritual guru say the same thing no matter what happens in this bitch you're gonna have your relationships and your intimate relationships and you're going to build them and you're going to grow them. And that's what this shit is about. Where you think it's about clout and get into the bag, you'll be... Let's, let's break this down. It's trillions of dollars in the world. Billions of people have, have, have money. 
millions of people have millions of dollars, meaning that money is an abundant resource for a, a large selection of few people. Out of that percentage of people who are experiencing that abundance is not a requirement that they be spiritual. So the reference that you're doing your Ashe work and your spiritual work is in a is a reflection of your finances. Maybe, but maybe not, right? You can do all of this Ashe shit and be broke as a fuck, right? Trust me, if you really dedicate it to your spiritual journey, part of this spiritual journey was you being broke as a fuck, right? Because in order to meditate, and for me personally, to meditate for eight hours, I couldn't work and meditate for eight hours. I was living in my auntie house, grown ass man. Don't get it twisted. Not too long ago. But my spirituality and my spiritual work came first. So that meant that I couldn't work and I couldn't make money. And it wasn't about now I'm doing this meditation so I can get money. No, I was doing the meditation for the meditation. I was living with my auntie and my auntie is a part of my bloodline. So part of her work and part of her mission was to be that fucking container and feminine energy for me to do this work. So she was cooking me food and nasty ass meals and I was eating that nasty ass shit because it was it was a part of my journey. So for eight hours a day, I was meditating. I was writing. I was doing magic. I was going I was walking to the library, reading books, checking books out, putting books in because I was dedicated to my spiritual journey, not saying, oh, goddamn spirit, I'm doing all of this work. Where's the money at? Where's the bag? Obviously, I'm not going to get no bag. I'm not fucking working. I'm, I'm, I'm bowing out of society. I don't have shit. I don't have no clothes. I don't have nothing. Obviously, you do that enough, spirit wakes you up into some shit. Of course, I'm looking, I'm talking to my aunt and my mom, and they looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, y'all don't think that I could get a fucking job? Y'all think I'm crazy? Like I've lost my mind? No, I'm... Here, now, doing this. I'm on my Ram Das. Kick me out. She kicked me out, right? <laughs> Kick my ass. No, I, I walked out. Following spirit, right? Following spirit leads you here, leave you there. But when you follow spirit and say, well, I'm following spirit, so I should be getting some money. No, you follow spirit and, 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 and guarantee that maybe you won't get no money. Don't say, oh, spirit gave me this relationship. It must be perfect. No. Nope. Imagine the worst person ever, right? And, and spirit leading you to the worst person ever. Because that's sometimes what spirit do. Because maybe you need that. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The regular... Um, the nitro with the rose gold oat milk. A spiritual man is not a rich man because he's a spiritual man. His job is to be spiritual. When you expect the spiritual man to be a physical man, you miss out on the greatest man of your life. Thank you. Because a spiritual man can heal you, a physical man cannot. I'm gonna say it again. Maybe I said it too fast or maybe you was listening slow, but this will help you in your relationships. Whenever you thinking of you, if you need healing, you can get a physical energy, a alpha, a shango, and he won't heal you. He'll fuck the shit out of you. And you better be prepared to shop. You better be prepared to go visit some expensive locations. Oh, you don't got your luggage together. You don't got your, your hair done. You 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 depressed. You sad. All right, let me find somebody else because I'm out. I'm about to kick it. I'm in my Sagittarian. I'm in my Leo, right? I'm in my Capricorn vibes. I'm not, I'm not trying to heal you, chick. I'm trying to have fun. I'm going to the, to the reggae club tonight. Right, I'm about to dance and see. The thing is, no, I'll, 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 I'll get ready. I'll, I'll, I'll get ready. No, no, I'm not sad. I'm not sad. No, 
Men are psychic and intuitive. If you're not high vibrational, you're not high vibrational. You don't turn high vibrations on and off. So if you want an alpha, shango, and this is archetypal energy, right? This is root energy. It looks many different things as it grows out, but at the core, an archetypal man is trying to enjoy himself tonight. Because an archetypal man might not be here tomorrow. He a warrior, right? He been in a trap. He been in that office. He been on that laptop. He been getting the fucking bag. So now that he got the bag, he trying to have a great time. If your vibration is low, he don't even see your ass. This is why he didn't text you back. This is why when you met him and your vibrations was high and he was fucking with you and then you felt a certain type of way, you felt entitled. Why didn't you call me today? He never called you again. That's a physical man. He's not here to heal you. He's here to make love to you, take you all over the world. Maybe you can match his step and he marry you. Right? You have to support him, right? Spiritual man. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> now spiritual man, shout out to Eli. A spiritual man, he could do everything that the physical man can do. He just won't support your insanity. To which the extras and the overs and the and the buffers. Okay, let me de let me let me let me break it down into simpler terms and argue with me if you must. But I'm gonna keep it blood raw for you. We are all small, insignificant creatures. The ego thus gives us a layer of importance through our family. So instead of being this small, insignificant creature, I'm a Jackson or I'm a Taylor or I'm a, a little baby or a little baby, right? And then the persona is an even more of a deeper layer. So then it's a title. I'm a wife. I'm a business owner. I'm a this. I'm a that. I help people do this. I help people do that. And let me tell you something about this, right? Confusion, right? At its core. Because the thing about me, family, I take it easy. I don't, I don't go too hard, man. Y'all, I ain't about to do more than one reading in a day. And I ain't about to do readings too... I ain't about to read your life. I'm not going to go crazy with the readings because that's energy. Another thing. You got to have a great life when you fucking with the spiritual shit. What's not a great life? Being busy, being stressed out. That's physical shit. The spiritual, this is an example, right? We had an event yesterday. And so my wife carried one box in, right? I carried the rest of the boxes in. She stayed there the whole time, right? Setting the shit up. I'm carrying boxes in, right? Now, I got to park a half a mile down the road. So, I take the whip, park it, lock it, carry some more stuff. The whole time, my wife is just there setting up, right? We there working together, right? Now, imagine if I'm not there. It's not impossible, but now my wife got to set up bring everything out the car, right? Can't set up shit because now she got to go park a half a mile down the road. Take the car out, then wake it back, and then, right, 
she gonna be mad that I say that. She be late as hell. So she probably would have been late, you know, and she would have set up and maybe she would have set up one time, but it is way nicer to just kind of just have somebody there to support you. I realized this yesterday as I was doing all of this. Like, this is pretty dope that I can support and, and do all of the things that she needs me to do. You can ask her. What I was saying was, Carrie, I just sent it out to you today. It's like literally fume on its way about to land. <laughs> about to land in the crib. Um, She'll tell you, you know. I'm really this way, you know, so having somebody to support you, I, f I swear y'all, that shit is underrated as fuck, like, that shit underrated as fuck, and say for instance, if like we argue, right, say for instance we argue, that don't mean that I'm not gonna support you, right? That don't mean that I'm gonna leave. That don't mean that, meaning that when we went on when our went on our vacation, I realized that what I've been afraid of, and maybe what she been afraid of, was the truth because the truth was going to bring about feelings and certain types of energies, right? But if we're going to be together, why would we sit in this union? It's like sitting in a bath and not being able to be honest with each other. So maybe if we clash, it's going to bring us closer, you know? And I realize, you know, like we didn't argue, but we had two real disagreements, right? two real disagreements and two real serious conversations on our trip conversations that we needed to have as a family as a union as a couple right which let me know that okay we're really supposed to be in this relationship because we're getting to the nitty-gritty of shit right a physical man and a physical woman they present this image of perfection for which all you have to do is just elevate and lock and then automatically magical relationship. The invocation or the addition to spirituality to your relationship, you begin to look at it in totality, right? You got a man in your life that's giving you, first of all, he's giving you your children He's giving you the best dick that he can give you, right? He's not giving you world-class dick, but he's he's he trying. You know what I'm saying? He's trying, right? Now, it's going to be that other side. You're going to have that darkness. You're going to have that argument. You're going to have them fights. You're going to have them disagreements. You're going to have misunderstandings. You're going to have bullshit. You're going to have drama. He going to want other women. Ladies, you going to want other guys. Can you talk about it? Can you stand in it? Can you stand in that? Can you be open polygamous before you open up in the relationship? Because you got kids. You polygamous. You polygamous. That's your husband. That's your husband. Y'all got kids. That's your husband. You will have sex with him because it's all mental. See, this is the thing. Before we get hotel, before we get initiated, before we get a reading, before we do any of that, can you unequivocally say that you've been living and standing and observing and living your life in the seven universal laws? And fuck the seven, let's just stay with the first one. All is mental. All is mental. So spiritually, occult, conscious, whatever the fuck, will all bear witness to the Kabbalion. That's a great book. You should read it. You don't got the Kabbalion in your library. So the first law is all is mental. So ladies, when you feel a negative way toward your husband and you relate it to something about him, this is why it's very important 
before you get a reading, before you tune in and tap into different frequencies, because once you tap into a reading, once you get into tuned in and tapped into these deities, they're going to hijack the most important thing. Oh, you have a deity fucking with you. You should deal with this deity. Deities are under the soul realm. Deities are right here. The soul is at the top. You can circumvent the deities and go straight to the actual soul, the person or energy and entity that's specifically attuned to your highest calling. So all is mental, right? You are what you think. So when you have negative concepts towards your baby mama, baby father, with little caveats and shit, but then wanna be unequivocal when it comes to the spirituality, My thing is, you didn't know about relationships and you don't know about spirituality because it ain't no caveats when it comes to physicality. It ain't no caveats when it comes to spirituality. The problem is, it gets a little tricky and spooky when you think that I'm your spiritual hierarchy. That's when it get tricky and spooky because the reality is your personal soul is your personal hierarchy, not mine. So when you get a reading, a person has to specifically tell you, this ain't from me, this is from you. And then you look at their reviews or you look at their reputation. Because generally, the reviews will say, he confirmed a lot of things for me. Things that I already was thinking about, he just confirmed for me. Because... This is about you. This ain't about no spectacular, superficial shit. To which, if you do a spell and run around in a circle three times, that something good is going to happen to you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have to fucking study your soul to get to the intricacies and the dynamics and the dimensions and the measurements and the calculations of your fucking soul. And if it's too complicated for you, big fucking deal. Because y'all will get a fucking associate's degree in a fucking heartbeat y'all get a bachelor's degree in a heartbeat get a fucking phd in a heartbeat meaning that you don't got a problem with intricate calculating and mathematics and arranging and getting to the fucking funky marky mark new kid on the block of the detail of shit right to which the reason for which you don't want to deal with your soul is because that these deities have put in seven seals to the container or the chest of your soul. It's in the Bible. If you think I'm crazy, just Google seven seals revelation and then deal with the opening of the seals, i.e. chakra work, i.e. opening up the endocrine chakras through this spiritual process. You think a nigga paying your rent is going to elevate you in the same way as dealing with a man that is specifically attuned to bringing about orgasms? See, the thing about Tantra is not that, to be honest, is not to say that I have the largest penis that brings about the most amazing orgasms it is the conversations and the literature and the com and the expansion of the spiritual modalities to which within her mind she can then ascertain the concepts of multiple orgasms because whether i'm there or not she should be able to experience multiple orgasms because this is her activating her chakras She'll tell you, she takes the energy and sends it up her spine. The orgasm, she's not having sex. Hopefully she's not having sex for the feeling. She's having sex for the mechanics, for the for the study, for the ability to have the conversation and, and around healing. 
But a spiritual man is specific not to taking care of you or your survival. The spiritual man is specific to getting in them draws. And, and, and bringing about that orgasm. So generally, where the spiritual man tend to might fuck up is that he might think that he's supposed to bring his spiritual into the physical. He thinks he might supposed to be daddy long legs out here and smash through a whole bunch of chicks. To which he's a spiritual man. The sex that majority of the sex that I have is in the spiritual realms in the non-physical realms in the etheric realms to which the the reality so if i'm naturally polygamous spiritually i should have the conversation openly and honestly and not create any shadow to which you might be confused about it and you know i had to cut people off of energy because you know they think that they're getting a reading but really they they want to have sex These are things that happen with spiritual guys. <laughs> I've, I've, I've broke it down in so many different ways throughout this build that hopefully your mind is open enough to which you can begin to examine your relationships and your inner relationships to say, no, I'm single when you can have sex within your mind. Now, if you want to have physical sex, well, you had opportunities to have physical sex. You just didn't cherish or value the relationship. You didn't have the skills to maintain or sustain a relationship. We're very good in our Aries energy in initiating sexual unions and sexual bonds. But we don't know much about sustaining and maintaining those things because sustaining and maintaining relationships require specific skill. They require a specific specific dialogue and that specific well it could be one of two things it could be absolute survival or it could be psychological shadow work to which you talk about everything that you're experiencing within your relationship white people do it and people of other races do it and 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 will and jada with the concept of swinging right the swinger movement having multiple relationships and things of that nature being in the same room while your wife is having sex with a stranger, while your husband is having sex with a stranger, this is excellent shadow activities because you're removing the barriers and and, lock, and, and getting rid of the what would be triggers of that other person's happiness because the reality why people do this is because you are a victim of your partner's happiness or lack of happiness to which it generally becomes a talking point or a point of contention to whereas i had to leave you because you didn't do the thing to which you are naturally programmed to do and so you were living in a box and i was living in a box so we just decided to part ways instead of immersing ourselves in the truth of this person this person is not my property that's first that's first start off end off that start off end off that this person not my property another thing start off end off that if i have sex with this woman then i gotta take care of the child that comes forth through this action because i shouldn't be experiencing that if i'm not ready for this to which sex does you marry children sex marriage children Sex, marriage, children. Sex, marriage, children. Sex, marriage, children. Like, make that one fucking thing. And you'll never go wrong. You don't want to have marriage and children? Stop having sex. The same thing is, 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 is shadow. So, marriage and children are the shadows of the external of, of sex. Sex at a surface level is just all just this wonderful experience of... <gasps> and then you're done. Right. And then it's, but what about the children? What about the relationship? We know, oh, how to experience sex or how to experience this or how to experience that. But the maintaining and sustaining of the relationship, if you're not in dire needs, has to be done through shadow work, has to be done through expressing truths, truths, ugly, nasty, brutal, stinking, funky ass truths but if we can't get into the point where we're able to not say the truth see I, I said a post the other day where I was like 
it was funny to me. Because, like, when you're dating, girls is always like, man, I haven't had sex in so long. I haven't had sex in so, so very long. And generally, I'm imagining that women have learned to say that and create that aesthetic for the man. Of this virginal, I haven't had sex in forever. And when when you come around me, I'm going to just be so eager and so horny because I just haven't had sex in so long. And now I just need to have you, right? What tends to never really happen is like, man, I just had sex with my um, busted baby last week. He comes around regularly once a week to, you know, take care of my needs. But I'm just out here looking for a guy to, to, to really be in a real relationship with while my base of baby comes and, and takes care of me once a week. Right? So if you're not going to tell a man, because you come to the conclusion after a certain point that you want a spiritual man. So the thing is, you can't do the thing with the spiritual man that you wouldn't tell him. Now, you could get argued with it. You could get mad at it. But I'm just telling you how this shit works. So if you're fine with telling him that you got a busted baby that comes through once a week that blows you out the frame, you got a 14 incher and he got a body of a God and I just be needing it once a week on Sundays. I call him son because he shine like one. He be glistening. Right. My busted baby on Sundays, you ain't ready to have that conversation, don't do it. Because the spiritual man will pick up on it. The physical man, which is not the man that... The physical man is the physical man. He's the one that's going to say, hey, and what's up, and all of that, and get what he getting, and go where he going. Right, but generally, you'll come across a spiritual man, and that's an opportunity. That's an opportunity for support, that's an opportunity for growth, that's an opportunity to get into some real deep spiritual, intricate shit. But if you're not able to be honest with him then it's not going to be therapeutic enough. It's not going to be healing in the aspects of which you're trying to get it to be because where you're trying to figure it out through lying and telling stories in relation to what you think men want to hear and not even being able to differentiate a spiritual man from a physical man from just the hole in the wall, just looking at all men as boogeymen and never really getting into the intricacies of men but then craving and really needing that masculine energy in your life in some form or fashion what would be the solution if you're single and looking to attract a relationship you gotta be honest and then hear how fucking crazy your honesty sounds and begin to act in a different way and make to where your honesty over a period of time doesn't make you feel uncomfortable or doesn't make you feel crazy. If you're not ready to feel crazy, embarrassed, shameful, prideful, if you're if you shy away from those feelings of shame, if you shy away from those feelings of fear, if you shy away from those feelings of honesty, then you need shadow work because you're not actually able to say your truth. And where you're confused at is that you want to get closer without being honest. But honesty is the most intimate substance known to man. You want a solution is your honesty. But I know your honesty sound crazy in 2021 because we doing a lot of shadow shit. We're, it's, your honesty sounds crazy with the Internet. Because you only saying what you want to say and you only showing what you want to show. So in the meantime and in between time, all of this other shit for which you ain't showing. Is there a conversation in relation to it or do you want me to just talk about what you're showing me? A spiritual man, especially a man that's very 
rooted and knee deep within that he's not going to really focus in on what you're showing him and a spiritual man is going to be completely captivated and led and driven and 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 deeply drawn to the pursuit of you it can be a multitude and it can be a plethora of feminine energy and all types of proposals family i didn't got real live proposals legit proposals i got like plane tickets i got these two plane tickets and me and you we could just go right now we could just leave what I'm saying is there is no temptation in the reference to when you get into understanding that your spiritual work is in reference to how you relate to your partner. Y'all can hate me. Y'all can say fuck me. Right. But I'm trying to win my relationship. I'm trying to gain within my relationship. And if you don't have that. The way that you get that is through being able to communicate from an honest perspective. And generally, if your honesty creates shame and confusion and fear within your being, you shouldn't be doing that shit. You should be able to express yourself freely, openly and honestly. And and and, and if somebody was to say something in reference to it, you should be able to stand in it even further. This is what honesty is. But tell me, I'm telling you rather that your ideologies being inundated does not teach you biological truths. So when you don't move in the space of biological spiritual truths, your ideologies will not be the thing that moves you through what you think, what you feel, what you process, your intuition that won't sustain a biological truth. A spiritual truth to which if you do not know the biological truth, you do not know the spiritual truth, you'll be winging it. And you'll be looking at a particular thing and hoping and wishing and wishing that will manifest. You'll be in your relationship hoping that he'll come around. Right. You should be in your relationship knowing that it's going to be bad and it's going to be good. You should be at in any aspect knowing that it's going to be black and it's going to be white. Is going to be holistic and we are here for the whole thing so this has been an episode of sitting in the parking lot while my wife shops an inordinately long amount of time and wife if you're on the other line of this live you know hurry up and get to the car babe because i do miss you i mean you've been in the car you've been in the store for so long and you said you was just gonna get a couple of items baby and you're just there and i need to come back it's me and i got these kids and and we miss you and they asking about their mama you know what i'm saying they that they hair and got all long and i know you having fun in there i know you love shopping and i know you love the store but baby baby please just come back to the car we, we miss you um 